The Department of Library Services has the pleasure to support the University of Pretoria's community using the American Psychological Association referencing style, APA7. With this presentation, we hope to empower the community with the necessary tools to utilize this referencing style. The presentation will cover the following topics. Discuss APA7 as a citation and referencing tool. Managing APA7 citations. Share basic guidelines when using figures and tables in your work. Discuss the use of secondary sources. Offer information on APA7 referencing and share examples. All examples will be given in red text or the notes in red. The learning outcomes of this presentation are to introduce APA7 as a tool for scholarly communication, which, and we quote directly from the American Psychological Association manual, provides a foundation for the effective scholarly communication because it helps authors present their ideas in a clear, concise, and organized manner. This will include providing guidance with in-text citations and compiling the reference list. Both in-text citations and the reference list play an integral role in achieving excellence in academic writing. You are encouraged to explore the provided links with the presentation which will lead you to the official webpage of the American Psychological Association for more detailed information. Training and training tools in support of anti-plagiarism are available to the UP community. Consult the University of Pretoria Library webpage to access training dates and tools. The following are considerations in implementing the author date citation system. In parenthetical citations, both the author and the year of publication are given in parentheses, also indicated as round brackets, separated by a comma. Doing narrative citations with the aim to highlight the author of the cited work, the author's surname is incorporated into the sentence, the year of the publication will be placed in parentheses. Parenthetical and narrative citations as described here are also applicable when citing a quotation. Follow the provided link to obtain guidance on how to cite multiple works, how to cite works with the same author and dates apply, or citing different authors sharing the same surname. Paraphrasing and quoting are the building blocks of good writing. It is a recommendation to use the APA7 manual or any other appropriate resource to better your academic writing skills, particularly on paraphrasing and quoting. In-text citations are added to academic writing in order to give support for conducted research and giving acknowledgement and credit to authors and creators for work done. Citations are included to paraphrase and quoted work, and the citations facilitate readers to the reference list. This is done by presenting the surname or surnames of the author or authors and the date of publication. This is placed in round brackets, also called parentheses, as shown here in the examples. Given here as example, the citation is given in round brackets, it includes the author's surname and year of publication, and a comma separates the author's detail and publication detail. Placement of citations when paraphrasing or quoting will be determined by the emphasis given to either the author or information. The first example shows an author prominent citation with a citation at the beginning of the sentence. In the second example, an information prominent citation is given where the citation is placed in the middle or at the end of the sentence. Next under discussion is citing a quotation. When citing a quotation, the page number or numbers or paragraph number or section details are added to the existing citation elements. From the given example, we see the author's surname, the date, and the page numbers. In order to distinguish between the elements of the citation, commas are added between the author and the date and again between the date and the page numbers, paragraph details, or section details. Page numbers are added to the citation when quoting, but also when citing a prominent section of the source. The given link will direct you to the APA7 manual for full details on citing a quotation. APA7 makes a clear distinction citing quotations between 1 and 40 words long and quotations longer than 40 words. Quotes with less than 40 words should be included in the text and closed in double quotation marks. Positioning the citation in parenthetical or narrative format will be determined by the preference that is given to the author's work being quoted. Direct quotes of 40 words or more should be handled as block quotations and should start on a new line with a 1 cm indentation. Do not use double quotations and do not add additional spaces before or after the quote. Specific guidelines apply when adding tables and figures to your work. It is advisable to consult the APA7 manual for information regarding tables and figures. Tables are sets of facts or figures systematically displayed in rows and columns. Figures consist of charts, drawings, maps, graphs, and photographs. 
Key considerations when including tables and figures in your work include the following. Numbering the tables and figures in the order in which they appear in the text. It is further more important to note that all tables and figures reproduced or adapted from sources within Creative Commons licensing requires attribution according to the rights that apply. All tables and figures reproduced or adapted from the sources under a copyrighted license need authorization from the copyright holder. The attribution or copyright notice must appear in a note directly beneath the table or figure. The references used are added to the reference list. Full details on citing and referencing of tables and figures are available in the APA7 manual as well as examples of the tables and figures. Academic writing standards discourage the use of secondary sources. It is recommended to access the secondary source. In instances where the secondary source is unavailable, follow the APA7 instructions for citing and referencing a secondary source. The example shows the primary source cited and then the note as cited in with the details of the secondary source. When referencing, reference the secondary source. The process of adding cited references to a reference list entails the following. The list is made available at the conclusion of the document. This list of references serves to complement the citations given in the text. The purpose of the list of references is to intend to provide full details to the reader in order to access and explore the sources utilized by the author. This is done in a consistent format to all types of sources used. When creating a list of references, there are a few considerations to keep in mind. Starting the list of references on a new page. Center the heading references at the top. Arrange all references in alphabetical order, A to Z. Alphabetical order is done according to the author's last name and not the format of the source. Place works that do not have an author in alphabetical order under the first significant word of the title. Indent the second and subsequent lines of each entry with five to seven spaces. And as a recommendation, use double spacing for the list of references. Given here is an example of a list of references according to APA 7. The title, references in a censored position, the sources listed alphabetically according to the author's surname, the second line of each entry indented, etc. References usually consist of the listed four elements acting as the building blocks of the reference entry. Author, year, title, and source. The title of the work will either be a standalone work, example, a book, a report, or a video, and all other standalone publications, or a work, part of a greater whole, for example, a journal article or chapter in an edited book as examples. Punctuation is used to distinguish between the different elements of a reference. A full stop or period indicates the end of an element. When all the authors of a reference are added to the reference list, a full stop will indicate the end of that section. After the date, a full stop is added. This will also apply to the end of a title element and source element. The reference entry will end with a full stop. Unless the entry includes a URL or a document object identifier, please see the example given to you below. The sections within an element, example the title, volume, issue and page numbers are separated by a comma. The example shows the full stops between the elements and the commas within the source element. Also shown is the DOI with no full stop at the end of the entry. The author elements are showcased with clear distinction according to the number of authors involved. The author's surname and initials are separated by a comma, indicating multiple parts in an element. In cases involving multiple authors, the last two authors' surnames are separated by an ampersand. In instances where 21 or more authors are involved, follow this approach. List the first 19 authors and insert three dots or an ellipsis at the end of the details of the last author. For group authors, mention the full name of the group and not the abbreviation. Formatting or italic use of the title is determined by the title of the source being a standalone source or part of a greater whole. In the first example, the book is a standalone source and is italicized. The second example shows the title of the journal being italicized. The article published in the journal forms part of the greater whole. A number of referencing examples will follow showcasing the discussion thus far. It will include the elements of a reference and utilizing punctuation in the reference. Discuss the author elements, multiple authors and editors. Looking at publication date variations. Distinguish between a standalone source or a section of a greater whole. Referencing a chapter in an edited book. Indicate the applicable edition. Title formatting. How to reference different media used. 
different websites, and adding the DOI slash URL as part of the reference. The notes on each slide will highlight the elements, punctuation, and formatting of the example.